Hey YouTube, Nick here, and uh, this past weekend, I went down to Atlanta with three of my buddies for uh, the Braves series against the Arizona Diamondbacks, and I picked up some stuff, and I want to show you all. Um, it was alumni weekend, the entire weekend, and Friday night, they retired Chipper Jones's number 10, jersey number, so no one will ever wear it, and it's rightfully, you know, rightfully deserving for Chipper to have his number retired. Um, my favorite player of all time. Grew up watching him. You know, played third base as a kid when I played baseball. So he was always, you know, an inspiration for me. So to get to see his number retired on my birthday, that was you know a heck of a birthday present. That was awesome, awesome to see. But um, at Turner Field, they have a game used store, and you can buy anything from bats, baseballs, jerseys. Um, everything that could be used in a game. They even had a rosin bag that me and my buddy both considered buying, but we didn't. But um, they have this little piece of uh, third base from uh, used in a game, authenticated right there. And uh, it's from Chipper Jones's last season. It's from a game that was um, he played in against the Astros that they unfortunately lost. But it's an awesome piece of memorabilia that I'll you know, keeping my collection forever. I'm um, keeping the plastic, you know, to protect it and just, you know, it's an awesome piece for any chipper or any Atlanta Braves fan. Um, awesome, awesome piece. Got it, you know, what I consider to be a, a great price. It was worth every penny. Uh, so that is going to stay in the collection forever. And, uh, like I said, you can buy anything in the gaming store that's been used in a game. And so, the past two years, I bought baseballs that have been used on my birthday. So, uh, last year, I got this one. And they played Arizona in the same time of year last year. And so, I got that ball. And then I've got to get a case for this one. But this ball was used um, Friday night in the game same game that they retired Chipper's uh, jersey number so that ball's you know double special not only was it used on my birthday but it was used in the game that they retired Chipper's number so uh, that was a great that's also a great piece to add to the collection so every year I'm trying to get a ball that's used on my birthday so I've got 2012 and 2013 and uh, hopefully I'll be super old one day <laughs> And I'll have a ball from every year leading up to who knows when. But um, that's some, some of the game used balls I've got. And uh, like I said, it was alumni weekend that weekend. So tons of older guys there. And uh, I was able to get some autographs, some you know, awesome autographs. And I also got some autographs from uh, current players. So we'll get in that real quick. Uh, first up. I gotta get a case for it. I left my case over at my buddy's house for this ball. But uh Javi Lopez. Got him on an official ball. All these are on official balls. I don't use anything else just because, you know, I think they look the best. And they hold an autograph really well. Um, but yeah, Javi Lopez. I text my mom or I called her and I told her this and she was all excited. She thought he was always just completely adorable and dreamy and so when she found out I got this she got excited so uh, that's the hobby ball next I got Paul Mahalem before the game on um, Friday I believe it was Friday yeah it was when we got there got Paul Mahalem on a ball and I uh, asked him if he could put a Bible verse on it and uh, he put 1st Corinthians 13 13 which, uh, you know, I love athletes who aren't afraid to share their faith. Um, you know, being a Christian myself, I think that's awesome when, when athletes will, you know, go out and not worry what, you know, what people will think. And they just, you know, share the faith. And, I, and it's awesome that he was able to inscribe that for me. I really, really like this ball. I really like Paul Mahalem. I almost bought a, a, a game used jersey of his from 2012, but I talked myself out of it. But uh, me and my buddy were planning on going back later this season, and if it's there, I'm probably going to buy it. But, um, let's see here. Also, on Friday, 
We waited down at the uh, the lot where all the alumni were parking and coming in. And uh, this guy was one of the last people to show up, but super excited to get this ball. Turned out really nice from the great, should be Hall of Famer, Dale Murphy. Um, before he got there, uh, some of the guys who live down in Atlanta were telling telling us that he, he always shows up, say, "Oh, I'm late, I'm late. I can only sign for a little bit." So uh, to get in there and to get this real quick, you know, was awesome. It's gonna be a great piece to add to the collection. Uh, really respect Dale Murphy, uh, great former player. Should be in the Hall of Fame. Hopefully, he'll you know get in there somehow. But uh, that's that one's awesome. And next. Possibly the biggest name I got all weekend, Mr. Tom Glavin. And this one has a funny story behind it. Friday, we were waiting out at the lot for the alumni to come in. And we waited and waited and waited, and he never showed up. And so the people down there, they said he was already in the stadium, you know, waiting for the, the signing they were going to do inside. So we... We stood there forever, and you know we never got to see him. So we're like, we're not gonna get Tom Glavin this week, and we were really upset. So Sunday after the day game, uh, my buddy's friend that he met down in Atlanta said, "Go to this spot of the stadium, and when he comes out after calling the game, you'll you'll be able to get him." So we went to the spot, and we found out it was the wrong area of the stadium. So we had to leave the stadium without getting his aut autographs, and we went out to the players' lot. You know, just to see if we could get any any autographs there. And next thing I know, there's you know a big group of people. And I walk over, and Tom Glavin's standing there, sign autographs. So I look at my buddy. I was like, Yo, "Get over here, get over here, Tom Glavin." So he he runs over there with his uh his jersey that he got to uh to get signed. And I got that ball, and he got the uh, the jersey. And I think we were like two of the last three or four people to actually get autographs from Tom Glavin before he left. So super excited to get that one. And the last one, and one of the, the cooler ones that we got the entire weekend, um, down at, I believe it was Carriage Kia, um, about an hour away from Atlanta, Evan Gaddis was signing on Saturday morning at 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30. And uh, so we're like, hey, we're going to go down there. <laughs> we're going to get his autograph hopefully so we got there at 8 20 and we were afraid we we're gonna be really late you know be way back in the line and maybe not get anything but we get there and we're the first one of the first 30 people in line out of hundreds so we pull in and uh, we get in line and we stand for two hours two and a half hours however long it was and um, got this ball Evan Gaddis and I asked him to inscribe El Oso Blanco and you know he's more than happy to do that uh, sat down had my picture made with him complimented his beard it's awesome guy awesome guy awesome beard awesome player awesome baseball so birthday mojo this past weekend a lot of awesome autographs Braves swept the Diamondbacks it was just a good weekend, all in all. So, uh, that's all I've got for now. I've got some more cards that I've got in lately that I've not showed on video. Hopefully, I'll do that soon when I have time. Been super busy with work. So, that's the, uh, the recap of the weekend. Um, thank you for watching. Like. Subscribe, comment, you know, I want to get to know you guys. Uh, you know, I want to make some connections here on YouTube and just, you know, meet up, just talk to people, meet them, you know, make some new friends in the process. People who enjoy the same thing as I do, you know, collecting, you know, autographs or memorabilia or just whatever. So comment, chat it up, and we will see you next time. The beard says, Goodbye.